What is up YouTube, Bluner here, and today I'm going to show you how to crop a photo in Illustrator. Now, I'm sure you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just do this in Photoshop real quick? Well, I was thinking about this, and there are a couple reasons that I could come up with why somebody would have to crop something in Illustrator versus Photoshop. Yes, it is easier and more straightforward, and like, why don't you just use Photoshop kind of thing, but here are the two reasons I thought of. One. Maybe you're only paying for one program. You know, the Adobe Creative Suite uh, online, you can either pay for the whole thing, you can pay for Photoshop and Lightroom, I think, and then you can pay for only one program. And so let's say that you only pay for Illustrator. Well, if you only have Illustrator, you won't have Photoshop to crop it, so you gotta figure out how to crop it in Illustrator. And another reason is maybe you're doing, maybe you're making a project in Illustrator and you don't really wanna mess with like moving back and forth between Photoshop and Illustrator and um, uh, so there's that reason but then you can also crop a photo in Illustrator and then like change the crop so it's I guess it's a non-destructive crop whereas Photoshop you know you have to save different pictures so that you don't like mess up the original picture so uh, I'll show you a couple ways that you can crop stuff in Illustrator so I have this photo of some Pokemon cards and one way you can do it is uh, pretty simple is if you just drag the artboard like say you want this water energy if you drag the artboard to only be around like the one object and then if you go file export save for web you'll see that it's only that thing so there's way number one and then you would just save this as a JPEG and you'd be done um, so I'm gonna cancel this I'm gonna undo it and get it all back in big and another way you can do it is with a clipping mask and this is the non-destructive way that um, could be helpful so I'm gonna draw a rectangle that's about the shape of one of the cards this time I'm gonna use this uh, surfing Pikachu because he looks really cool um, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and so I'm pretty sure that if you just select both things the um, the box has to be on top if you select both things go to object well, actually, no, first I may need to make the box a compound path because that usually doesn't like to work if it's not a compound path. So I'm going to do clipping mask make or control 7, and then boom, there you go, it's cropped. You can grab this and move it around. Um, and if you go file, uh, export, save for web, you can see that it's it still has the whole artboard, but it only has this in, in or it still only has this though. And I mean, of course, if you change to a PNG, then the, the back artboard will be transparent. And okay, so now you're like, well, how do you change this crop? Well, if you've ever used a clipping mask before, you know that you can like go into the clip group. And so like here's the rectangle that you can then move around like this. Uh, but that's kind of hard. I like to just click on the image and you can move the image around like this and you can change your crop just like this like it's that easy you know so this would be the second way that you could crop something in Illustrator um, so yeah like I said in the beginning of the video um, my two reasons or I guess three reasons why you would have to crop something in Illustrator versus Photoshop is like one you don't have Photoshop two you want to do a non like a non destructive crop versus like actually you, you know like you don't change the original image versus editing the actual image and then three if you're already doing all your work in Illustrator then you know might as well just keep it all in Illustrator so if this video was helpful um, hit a thumbs up or whatever like this video and I think I will release uh, this or another one that I record around Christmas or around New Year's so I hope you guys have a great Christmas and I hope you guys have a great New Year's <laughs>